Really? Yeah. Just robots and whatever. Yeah. When you're a kid. <laughs> <Tanks>. <laughs> Batman. You just, I think, a lot of kids draw, but then you probably get to an age where you sort of think, I'm bored of this, I want to play computer games or something, you know, but some people carry on doing it and they're normally the ones who are doing it professionally, you know, they sort of realise that that point when you're at junior school and like kids are like, oh, you're pretty good at that. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're at high school and it's like, oh, maybe I should do this a bit more professionally. Mm -hmm. And then I think things like uni and that obviously in foundation just sort of made me really realise. I always knew I wanted to do something with drawing and creations, but mm -hmm. you know, I think uni and uh, foundation made that really like, that's what you want to do. I will always have a sketchbook with me. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's not around the house, then I normally leave it in my bag or something. Uh, I try to feel like one a year because I think if you're not if you're not drawing, you know, you, you need to make a conscious effort to draw. Uh, it's like any sort of creative person; they have to consciously try and do something, you know, to get their outlet. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll sketch and I'll doodle in the book. And if I like something, I'll then maybe take that further. Maybe do some more sketches of it. And, you know, you don't know at that point whether it's going to be a, something digital or whether it's going to be something on paper. But you just keep developing it, really. And I think you never really know the finished product until you get there. It's always like, I could add this little bit more, I could change it. And what inspires you? Anything really. You know, I buy a lot of books, um, films, anything I see in films, cartoons, um, I listen to a lot of music. You know, anyone can know that they're good at something, but when it's something that other people can judge quite easily, you know, everyone's quick to judge, oh, he can't draw, he can draw. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So self-confidence. Yeah, I think so. Then I'd normally scan it in uh, and get my rough copy, mm -hmm. and like once I'm happy with that, and then I would uh, put that on the light box and uh, I make a tracing of it. Because mm -hmm. uh, before I had the light box, basically, I used to try and make uh, as little marks as possible when you're sketching, mm -hmm. <laughs> which sort of stops you from doing what you want to do, uh, and then you'd ink on top of that and you'd end up trying to rub out all of those pencil marks, it doesn't really happen. So the light box was sort of the next step in making a more clean finished piece, you know, something a bit more professional.
because you're always trying to rush to get something done, you know, because you obviously don't want to spend too long on something because that's your time, your time is valuable. Uh, I'm not necessarily a cartoonist, like, uh, you know, like knocking out tons and tons of drawings, but in terms of like illustration, making things look interesting, you know, characters and stuff like that, I think that, that for me is my unique selling point. Because I enjoy what I do, I don't ever see any of it in a challenge. I'm always trying to do better from one piece to the next. You know, I think everyone does that a little bit. Most creative people, or you know, they'll have an outlet. They're always trying to beat what they've done last time. 